Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this is my first uh, block diagram reduction problem. Okay, I hope uh, you have understood the total concepts on uh, block diagram reduction. And if you still have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section below. And of course, uh, I have got um, very good responses from you so thank you for all these things okay but uh, i need more support as this type of videos are very very popular or very very uh, not so easy uh, for uh, in terms of explanation okay so that is why i am going to take step by step method in order to solve this type of complex problems okay so all i need is your support please do subscribe my channel like those videos and share with your uh, share these videos with your relatives with your friends those who are engineers or non engineering friends also okay so stay tuned with my channel okay so now get back to my problem here I can see that three lines are divided over here. Okay. And three signal are my input for our summing block. Okay. So if I take that, this one is my number one line. And so number one line means this signal line. Okay. For the number, so, num so the number two is this one along with this one. So this one is number two and this one is our number three which so one plus two plus three the output of these three blocks are make a summation uh, at summing point and which is our output cs okay so i will like to draw this one two three line in a separator so first number one so number one or how to solve this line okay so in that the three is been given okay the next one is another summing block is being given over here so this one is my plus and in the feedback signal feedback signal this is plus this one is one by yes okay and here this is my end and here the summing block has been given over here so i will go uh, in that latter first i need to solve this line or or how do i solve this problem over here so here a feedback response minus one has been given over here so this one okay so i want to solve this problem here you can see that the feedback response is plus so what is the uh, exact formula for that i know that gs divided by 1 minus gs hs okay so for negative feedback this one is plus okay so for the positive feedback this is minus okay so which one is gs gs means this one and hs means this feedback response okay so by putting these two value of gs and hs into this equation what is the exact solution the solution is very very easy gs means 1 by s 1 minus 1 by s multiplied with minus 1 which means plus minus a minus a plus okay so gs means 1 by s into s 1 okay so this is my exact form up to this one okay so this is the exact solution for this one so i will like to write the answer over here which is nothing but our 1 by s plus 1 plus 1 by s okay so if i take the lcm in the downward side so the s plus 1 and s s will cancel each other 
and the final answer is 1 divided by s plus 1 okay so this is uh, this signal is 1 divided by s plus 1 and the <coughs> block looks like this one okay so this is 3 and this is 1 divided by s plus 1 okay and as these two block are in series then finally i can make further reduction of this block and the final block is look like this one our final block is this one so this is our final for number one line okay so hope you have understood the total way or on how do I reduce this block I want to repeat that once again first I have divided these three line into three parts and I am taking the single one line which is one so this is my number one so here gain three and the summing block uh, along with one by s yes, which is yes and minus one is our feedback response and which I have drawn here in a separate way and uh, on trying to solve this uh, uh, reduction or on trying to solve this block the I have uh, been uh, given that this is my exact formula for the positive feedback response and I have uh, put those values over here and finally this is my result for up to this one and as these two blocks are present or connected in series then I can say that my final answer will be 3 divided by 1 plus s so this one is 1 okay this one is 1 okay so this is my final response or final block for number 1 line okay so I will give you 2 minutes to note down this one and uh, hope you have understood the total way on how do I solve the block diagram reduction problem. Okay, so I will give you two minutes from now on. Okay. So I will erase uh, this number one portion to write the same block for two for our signal or line number two. Okay, so I will erase this one. Okay. Only the final block is present over here. Okay, so I will erase the rest of the part. Okay. So for number two line, so this one, okay. So for number two line, I will draw over here. This one is minus six and here plus plus, this one is one by yes. And in the feedback loop, this one is minus two and this is my response. So for the by using the same procedure, this one is our GS, this one is our HS, and I have our feedback response is plus. So what is the formula GS divided by 1 minus GS HS? Okay, and putting those values over here. 1 minus 1 by s yes into minus 2 which means minus 1 is a plus 2 okay so 1 by s yes, 1 plus 2 by s yes. okay so what is the final response the response is s yes plus 2 and the final answer is s yes, s yes, will cancel each other 
and the final response is 1 by s plus 2 so this one is for 1 okay and uh, for the sake of simplicity I want to draw the response over here so I will erase this portion uh, to draw the final answer okay so I will erase this portion okay and my final block is this one so this one is my minus 6 and this is placed in series with this block okay so as these two are present in series then what is the final answer the final answer is within our one block minus 6 divided by s plus 2 so this is my final which is our number 2 okay which is my number 2 okay so I will give you another one minute to note down this portion also okay So lastly for this line for signal I will erase for erase the number 2 so lastly the number 3 will be my final line um, final signal line okay so I will draw over here okay so this one is our 3 and the same summing block which is plus plus this one is 1 by yes okay and the feedback response is minus 3 okay and this one will be feedback so what is the response for that okay so I will erase uh, this portion to have my have more space okay so this one is 1 this one is 2 and lastly the three number three signal line is this one so i have separately drawn this line over here and uh, i am trying to solve this line also okay so the gs is one by yes divided by one minus gs into three which is minus three so minus minus means plus okay so gs divided by 1 minus gs hs i have put so this one is gs this one is hs and the final what is the final answer the final answer is 1 by s divided by 1 plus 3 by s okay and uh, taking the lcm in the denominator part s plus 3 and the final answer is 1 by s plus 3 okay and 1 by s plus 3 so this portion is 1 by s plus 3 and that is placed along with these 3 and 3 and 1 by s plus 3 are placed in series okay so what is the final block for that I will redraw this circuit over here okay so this one is 3 so 3 is placed along this block which is x plus 3. So what is the final response for the block 3? The final response for block 3 will be this one. 3 divided by x plus 3. So this one is for line number 3. So for line number 1, for, for so for line number one the transfer function block is 3 divided by s plus 1 for line number 2 the response is this one minus 6 divided by s plus 2 and for the last one the number 3 line so number 2 line is this one here the transfer function is minus 6 by s plus 2 and for the line 3 the uh, response is or the block is 3 divided by s plus 3 okay so i will erase the rest of the part 
to make more clear option over here. Okay. So number one, number two, and number three. So this one is number one, this one is number two, and this one is number three. Okay. So now I need to redraw this circuit to have more clear space over here. So I will draw over here. So this one is RS for this one, for number one line. For number one line, I, I have got three divided by S plus one. So over here, I have to write that three divided by S plus one. And here, some in block is present, this plus. Okay, and I will draw the rest of the part. So, for the number two, so this one is number one. This one is number one line for this one. This one is number one. So, for number two, the blocks look like this one. Three divided by S plus one for number two, minus six divided by s plus 2 okay which is my number 2 line this one so this one this one also plus and the last one is my this block so here number 3 line means this one okay so I will draw the last push last block which is 3 divided by s plus 3 and here also another summing block is present over here which is plus okay and in the right hand portion side I have I have got the CS okay so all these response are having our plus or the summing point is taken as all the signals are make the addition with our CS okay so what is the main objective of our block diagram reduction problem in the uh, at the final answer I have only one option only one block is present over here so I need to reduce these blocks and the final answer will be in the left hand side the RS and the CS which means the input response in S domain and the output response at the output terminal and only one transfer function block will be present there. Okay, so I need to reduce these three block into one block in order to get the final answer over here. So I will erase uh, these three blocks that I have written over here. So for number one line, I have got this one. So that is why Instead of writing this uh, summing block along with this, all these blocks, I have reduced uh, these three blocks into one block, which is 3 divided by S plus 1. Okay, for the second line also, here three blocks are present over here. But I have reduced by using block diagram reduction into only one block, which has a transfer function of minus 6 divided by S plus 2. And the last one, the same th thing is happened over here which uh, and I have only one block which is 3 divided by s plus 3 ok so I will erase uh, this 1 2 3 block as I have uh, got the final block over here so which one is my final block the final block will be very very simple and easy which is given over here so all these uh, three blocks are make a summation at the summing point so the final block will be this one so this one is our rs which is my input in s domain and in the output side this is our cs and all these response are make a summation over here so this plus this and this which is my final answer over here which is nothing but 3 divided by s plus 1 minus 6 divided by s plus 2 and lastly 3 divided by s plus 3 okay so this is my final block diagram or final block result for this problem one okay
I have told you while I was giving you the what is the exact objective of this block diagram reduction. So this is my final answer over here for this type of problem. So what is the transfer function? The transfer function is nothing but C is divided by R s which is nothing but uh, inside this block the transfer function will be present over here. So what is the final transfer function which is 3 divided by s plus 1 minus 6 divided by s plus 2 and plus 3 divided by s plus 3. So this is my final answer or final block uh, for that uh, trans, uh, for the block diagram reduction. Okay, so initially we have 3, 3, 3. So 9 blocks are present for our uh, initial problem. But by using the block diagram reduction method, I have used only one block which is equivalent with this circuit. Okay, so this circuit is nothing but this circuit. Okay, so these two are same. Okay, so uh, this circuit is equivalent with this circuit. Okay, so I have perfectly reduced uh, by using the block diagram reduction method and the reduction process is very very successful as I have my final block which has only one single input and the output and the only one transfer function is present over here. Okay, so hope you have understood my total procedure on block diagram reduction and if you still have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section below. Please uh, do like, share and hit the bell icon for more updates from my channel. Okay, so hope you have understood the total concept of my block diagram reduction and this is my final result. So previously, I want to repeat that once again. Previously, we have nine blocks. Okay, but final answer will be only one block is there. So that is why from nine to one. So here, logically, I have successfully uh, completed this Example by reducing the block number 9 to only one block is present for my final answer. Hope you have understood all the steps that uh, I have divided successfully, and uh, that's it uh, for uh, today. And thank you and goodbye.